Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Back at the posh part of Leighton Mills car park. So, I, here's a little bit about iodine. And yes, I forgot to upload yesterday's. I'll do that this morning. Oops, it was Sunday after all and hot. Right, iodine is utilized by every hormone receptor in the body. Absence of it causes hormone dysfunction that can be seen with practically every hormone inside the body. Dr. Fletcher has recently been on the show. Patients with insulin resistant diabetes have a partial or full remission of their illness in the presence, presence of taking iodine. Iodine deficiency. is common in most Americans and a lot of people around the world. If you've had your teeth put in, you've had mercury fill-ins and your body's constantly uh, producing uh, stuff to get rid of the mercury. You don't take enough through the diets. <clears throat> right, all glands, thyroid, adrenal, etc especially need iodine for the production of hormones. Now Dr. R. Brownstein believes iodine deficiency is a major cause of breast cancer and other diseases of the reproductive organs such as ovarian, uterus and prostate cysts cancers. In the last 50 years iodine has percentage has fallen 50% so now around the Great Lakes region with lowest soil levels in the world. That's high levels of cancer related to iodine deficiency. Uh, it goes on and on, there's pages of it. Some other medical conditions are goiters, graves, and Hashimoto's disease, fatigue, and impaired immune system function. Iodine deficiency during pregnancy can lead to miscarriages and reduced IQ in the surviving offspring. The World Health Organization says iodine deficiency is the largest single cause of mental retardation. Well, it's pretty important stuff, and a lot of people are using nascent iodine. I'm not too sure what that is. I've only ever used Lugol's mix. I've had good results with everything with it, including more energy. It's good in gastrointestinal disorders. Stomach ulcer cases are well, full recovery. In a medical report, 1976. And these are ones that were old ones that medical men couldn't handle. Gastrointestinal disturbances, satisfactory. Gastrointestinal cases cured with nascent iodine. Stomach troubles responded liberally as well as urinary disorders. Genital urinary infections out of 320 cases, 84 cured, 216 improved. About 20 cases of diseases of the urinary tract. As a urinary antiseptic in the presence of inflammatory or inflammation of the urinary tract, Nascent iodine was found to be superior to any other. A medication to reduce blood pressure. An example here, an 80 year old woman, blood pressure 210. Nascent iodine given in 10 minimal doses three times daily for five days, BP reduced to 160. Five more days, a reduction to 148, which is about normal. So you've got blood pressure. Find it does not produce iodism. Now that's a new word for me. Uh, more on blood pressure. Put it this way. Nascent iodine is like not around anymore that I know of. You've got to buy it separately. Iodine has fallen out of favour. Maybe this is why. Good results with goiter. 
it's all nice and iodine because it's clean no stain effective and the thing is if it's clean with no stain and effective that means there's no color which is basically all that means so if you remove the purple or the blue stain hey you've got clear iodine I'm not sure I'd want to do that I know I can see it working with a color in tropical medicine it's pretty good tertian malaria proved by slide contracted 18 years ago treated in the American hospital but suffered relapses since he took nascent iodine he's free from fever three more slides taken all negative last two years he's never had a fever for one day so it's been successfully tried in malaria influenza and other fevers temperature becomes normal in 24 to 48 hours without causing harmful or depressing effects on the heart or reducing the vitality of the patient stomach ulcers are good gastrointestinal disturbances it controls putrefactive and fermentive conditions whoa of the gastrointestinal tracts. Again, gentle urinary infections, 84 out of 320 cases, 84 cured, 216 improved. That, my friend, is iodine, or nascent iodine. I'll find out what that is and let you know and how to make it. So, have a good day. The sun's gonna be shining. I can see blue sky. It's also good in ear, nose and throat. Out of 1155 cases, 1122 with favourable results. And it goes on sinus infection. Chronic sinus infection. Eye, ear and ear, and eye, ear infirmary. Phanagogis and tonsillitis. So it's pretty good stuff. Anyway, that's enough for today. When I get up, I'll upload yesterday video, and I apologise for not uploading it. Hey, life's like that sometimes. All right, catch you later. Bye.